Hello everyone, it's Laura here from Interco Paranormal. I'm just going to do a quick vlog for you today about an upcoming investigation that we have um, at Harwich Readout Fort in Essex. Um, I didn't know anything about this place until a couple of weeks ago. Um, don't know a great deal about it now to be honest, um, but I have looked up online and found a little bit of information. Um, it was built somewhere between 1808 and 1810. Primarily, it was, um, its purpose was to protect Harwich against the threat of invasion by Napoleon. Um, there are many stories of hauntings um, in this place. I've just, I've come across a website, eerie, eerieplaces.com <laughs> forward slash ghost hunters, I don't know. Um, but basically there's a big section here um, and it says do you want to see the spirit of a headless soldier um, apparently there was an accident a tragic accident when a cable attached to a heavy cannon snapped and de de decapitated a soldier who has now been seen wandering around the grounds of the fort um, hmm. Um, the headless soldier is not the only ghost to be seen at Readout. Visitors have also seen apparition of a shabby looking man um, and shadowy figures have always have also been witnessed. Um, also, I read somewhere there was a YouTube uh, YouTuber had commented on a video and it said that a woman's voices are often heard. Um, apparently there was a, a woman murdered there. Obviously, I don't know if there's any truth to any of this. It's all just stuff I've found online. Um, yeah, um, it does say from a paranormal investigator's point of view, Harwich Roundabout Fort is a godsend. So I'm really excited to go there actually. Um, looking at pictures of the place, it does look pretty amazing. Actually, it looks pretty good and impressive. Um, definitely eerie, definitely um, a scary looking place to be in at night, I think. Um, and we're going to be there all night, so <laughs> should be fun. Um, yeah, I'm very interested to see what we um, experience or find out what we experience and what we what we see here and feel on the night. Um, I don't know. For some reason, a lot of the activity, um, according to the internet, is either in the cells or in the boat room. Um, the hard out fort, the, the readout fort was also um, used during World War II. Um, it was a detention centre for British troop, uh, troops in the war um, as well. And apparently you can still see today lots of graffiti on the walls from the soldiers. So I'll be interested to see that as well. And yeah, it should be a pretty good night. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Okay, anyway. Bye.